Hey, I wanted to take a minute and talk about some of the old school coming. So if you young guys, you know, might be used to your ISX 15s and so forth, but if you see one of the older Cummins come in the door, you still need to know how to work on them and don't want to be surprised by how different they are or what some of the terminology is. So over here we have uh, the ISX, HPITP engines, the CM870, or I think it's 871, not sure which. Uh, but it's over here and then if we look in our cabinet that we got here this is called the ifsm or integrated fuel system module um, i got it locked up in a cabinet because i don't want people stealing it uh, but if you look at the ifsm you got your fuel filter right here and then up here at the top is where the electronic controls for that fuel system happen so you look at this whole thing you got four of these things that look really similar and then you got the guy in the middle this guy in the middle is the uh, fuel shutoff solenoid the fuel shutoff solenoid is what allows fuel flow to go through this module and eventually to the injectors uh, when it's uh, energized and open with key on all right the these two the outside one is the metering actuator that determines how much fuel the injector puts in the cylinder this one is the timing actuator that determines how much fuel gets placed between the upper plunger and the timing plunger. The, and basically, since you can't compress a fluid, the amount of fuel you put between the two changes the timing on the injector. All right, so you have metering, timing. Come over here to this side, you have metering, timing. So what's happening is that this one is controlling the metering and timing for cylinders one, two, and three. These two are controlling metering and timing for cylinders four, five, and six. And what's really unique or cool when you're troubleshooting this that I really liked what I found out back in the day is let's say that one of these uh, metering actuators fails. Uh, the, when ours failed, the symptom was a whole uh, gar uh, garage full of black smoke because uh, it was really overfueling. Uh, so, uh, the code that it threw though, when we hit the troubleshooting chart for it to see what it recommended that we do, the first part of the troubleshooting code said to take this metering actuator and swap it with this metering actuator. And I guess the, the whole concept behind this is that this has a different fault code if it fails than this one does because of the wiring harness, right? So if you change these two and the fault code changes, the problem is in the wiring. If you change these two and the fault code uh, does change, then it followed the metering actuator. I'm not even sure I said that right the first time. If you swap the two and they, the fault code doesn't change, the problem was in the wiring harness. If you swap them and the fault code follows it, to, uh, becomes a new fault code, the, then you just took the bad one, put it in a different circuit. So it's the solenoid or the metering actuator itself that's bad. Uh, and I think you could probably do the same thing with the timing actuators. Uh, but this is a pretty unique fuel system. Um, it's also a mechanical fuel system, uh, whereas uh, as far as actuation goes, so unlike high pressure common oil where there is no actuation except the pressure, and a Huey engine where you use oil for actuation. This one is similar to our EUI engines like in the Detroits where you have a rocker arm pushing the injector plunger down. And the only difference between this and the EUI injectors is that the electronic controls aren't at the injectors, they're on this module. So I hope this uh, might have uh, made this uh, fuel system a little easier to understand. So now when an older Cummins comes in the shop, you got an idea of that this is an integrated fuel system module that consists of the filter, the shutoff solenoid, and the metering and timing mod, uh, actuators. And then up here at the top is the uh, gear driven off of the camshaft fuel pump. So uh, hope this helped, hope you liked it. If you did, please subscribe and please share this video with other people that might find it